it's just kind of crazy how the schedule works out where you always get to play these guys, right? Yeah, three years in a row. You know, it's uh, one of the things when I signed here, you know, saw that we would be uh, playing Cincinnati again. So, um, just the way it's worked out. You don't, like, look at the Bengals schedule every year and decide who you're going to sign with that? <laughs> no, I don't, I don't think so. Um, you know, I've just been working my way around the NFC, so it's uh, it's just worked out where every year we've uh, you know gone against Cincinnati. Um, now, now that you're like, like a couple of weeks in here, getting a chance to work with these guys every year, like how, how do you feel like you kind of progressed within this offense? Yeah, I feel really good about you know what we've been able to do and kind of where we're at. Uh, I feel like we've we found some rhythm in, in the offense and. Um, you know, I feel like we're, we're at a good place. So there's obviously things that we can keep doing better, but um, you know, I, I feel good about where I'm at and, and what we've been able to do. And uh, you know, with the, like, the rhythm you guys have been able to establish in the ground game, has that helped you find some holes like play action wise? So we've had some success on those plays in particular. Yeah, I think we've definitely done a great job running the ball and um, found some ways to get some explosive runs in there and. Uh, I mean, it def definitely has opened up some stuff in the past game as well. So I think, you know, being balanced has been a good thing for us. Does anything about the preparation change when there's like so many, so many injuries and different guys playing and come out? No, I, I don't think so. It, you know, you, you treat it the same way. Um, you know, you can find out who's going to be out there and uh, doing certain things, but I think the preparation stays the same. Do you maybe like get extra reps with some guys that you aren't used to playing with maybe or you feel comfortable with everybody? Or? I think it just comes down to communication, making sure that we're on the same page, we're thinking the same thing, making sure they're running routes how uh, I expect them, how we expect them. and um, So it's just the communication through it all. What have been some of your impressions of some of the new guys like Rashid and uh, Keith Kirkwood? Yeah, I think you know for Keith, he's he's been here before and you know, he stepped right in when he got here, and you know it's nice when you already know an offense and uh, have been in the system for a while. Yeah, so I think he's he's stepped in and and show what he can do, and um, he's a smart guy that, that's been able to move around uh, some. And, and Rashid, I mean, just the, his uh, speed, I think, is the thing that stands out. And so, um, yeah, yeah, I mean, these these guys have. Coming and picked up things well. Andy, I think Alvin City likes your decisiveness. How, how much of that goes to the offseason being in this program already? And how much of that just goes to being a veteran who, you know, kind of knows what he likes? Yeah, I think that's uh, the, the big part of it is, you know, understanding how to play this position. And I've done it for a long time. So uh, just finding that rhythm and balance of, um, you know, being decisive, knowing where to go with the ball versus different coverages and what they're trying to do. And uh, I think that's just. You know, my style of play. What's it like just to, you know, first start as a Saint in the Superdome and you're playing the Bengals? What, what's it like just knowing that going into it? Um, yeah, I mean, just to, you know, be at home uh, and, uh, against the Bengals in the Superdome. Obviously, there's the advantage there from the, from the crowd standpoint. So uh, it's going to be a fun atmosphere out there. All right, thanks guys.